Are you living in Merida and looking to expand your social network? Have you been curious about what is MEL, the Merida English Library? Well, today, do we have a treat for you? Come along with us into MEL's Spring Bazaar. Hey guys, it's Megan and Noe Yucatan Living. Living! And we're here today at MEL, the Merida English Library, for their Spring Bazaar. But more than just today's events, we wanted to give you an inside look at how MEL operates, all the amazing programs and activities they have for expats and Meridinos alike taking place. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Happy St. Patrick's Day! <laughs> Today is St. Patrick's Day when we're filming. By the time this gets up, who knows? I'm bracing great. She doesn't. Finch. <laughs> I have Gary. I have Gary. So <laughs> I'm covered. But yeah, let's take a look at everything that Merida English Library has to offer for people trying to expand their community in Merida. Ireland. <laughs> green burritos, everything is green. Okay. Yeah. Alfonso, can you explain us a little bit of what the Merida English Library? Which are all the activities you do for connecting and creating community. Absolutely. Well, the library, as, as the name it is, is a lending library. You can become a member. You can check. Uh, you can check books out and take them home, then return them as in the school. But also, we're a community center. We're the meeting point for people who travel from abroad and visit the, the, the Yucatan, and then decide to stay perhaps and the local community. Everybody who wants to practice English and Spanish here at the library, this is the place. It's a friendly space for everybody. We host activities just like the bazaar today. We also have conversaciones con amigos and language conversation practice and many other activities. From November to March, where we have our Yucatecan winter. <laughs> and then, yes, and then starting April, we change activities according to the community that we have surrounding us. Okay. Yes. We've heard that there's uh, wine tasting, uh, colonial houses, tours. Yes. Of course. During the high season, what we call our Yucatecan winter, we host these amazing events like the House and Garden Tour, where we visit three or sometimes four different homes around the central area. First, we listen to a, first, a quick activity, a quick lecture and about the archaeology in Kisra and Yucatan, and then we go walking within these homes. I'll say they are crazy because they are always showing <laughs> best remodeling, best furniture, best art, so it's crazy. It's very, very beautiful. That's one. That's every Wednesday, uh, Wednesday morning. Then once a month, we also have a wine tasting. Mm. There is an organized committee that brings this experience to the members of the library, 50 people only every time. And we taste four different wines paired with delicious snacks or tapas. And these take place in a home, one of these of the house and garden tour. So big enough that fits 50 people plus the staff plus the family. It's an experience people like to live. Uh, for example, we sell the tickets and they sell out within 30 minutes. Oh. That popular, that popular. And then we're getting ready for the next one starting in November. We have many other activities like tours, the Santa Ana Art Gallery Tour. Once a year we have the Artist Studio Tour where we visit studios of artists in the central area, supporting their art, supporting their work, and well, many other things like classes, workshops, here are the facilities of the library. Where can we get the tickets, how things work? Absolutely. We would love to see you around. So if you want to visit the library, you're more than welcome to join us from Monday to Saturday from 9 to 1. And we're open in the afternoons on Wednesdays and Fridays from 4 to 7. 
But if you're more comfortable on social media, find us everywhere. On TikTok, on Instagram, Facebook, and we have a YouTube channel as Merida English Library. That's it. Our website, MeridaEnglishLibrary.com, where you can find our calendar, all the activities, all the programs. You can also browse our catalog, online catalog and make your online purchase. All the purchases that we, we have here at the library are to support the association. We're a non-profit association, so these funds programs like Storytime for Children, Conversations con Amigos, which are for free for the community. Wow. Guys, this is the place to be if you want to connect with the expat community. As you know, when people relocate here, sometimes you start with zero friends, zero connections, and this is the place to connect, right? Yes, we have been hearing the library is the first spot to when people arrive in Merida. Yeah. So they say, okay, yes, welcome. What a better place to start your journey in Yucatan. <laughs> okay, Alfonso, thank you very much for thank this conversation. You. And I hope all the viewers connect with this place because it's absolutely worth it. <laughs> all sorts of cool things going on, guys. So be sure to check out Merida English Library. Today we are signing off from the Merida English Library Spring Bazaar. But if you liked what you saw, interested in more information about life in Yucatan, Merida specifically, or you want to buy, sell, or invest in Yucatan, you know who to contact, you know what to do. Call the best. <laughs> Sign off, guys. <laughs>